Hi everyone, time for chapter 26 of Germs and the Giant Peach. We're getting close to the end now. Let's see what they're going to get up to. The centipede, who has begun dancing wildly around the desk during this song, has suddenly gone too close to the downward curving edge of the peach and for three awful seconds he had stood teetering on the brink, swinging his legs frantically in circles in an effort to stop himself from falling over backwards into space. Before anyone could reach him, down he went. He gave a shriek of terror as he fell, and the others, rushing to the side and peering over, saw his poor long body tumbling over and over through the air, getting smaller and smaller until he was out of sight. Silkworm! yelled James. Quick, start spinning! The silkworm sighed, for she was still very tired from spinning all that silk for the seagulls, but she did as she was told. I'm going down after him, cried James, grabbing the silk string as it started coming out of the silkworm and trying tying the end of it round his waist. The rest of you hold on to Silkworm so I don't pull her over with me and later on if you feel three tugs on the string start hauling me up again. He jumped and he went tumbling down after the centipede down, 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 down towards the sea below. You can imagine how quickly the Silkworm had to spin to keep up with the speed of his fall. We'll never see either of them again, cried the ladybird. Oh dear, oh dear, just when we were all so happy too. Miss Spider, the glowworm and the ladybird all began to cry, so did the earthworm. I don't care a bit about the centipede, the earthworm sobbed, but I really did love that little boy. Very softly, the old green grasshopper started to play the funeral march on his violin, and by the time he had finished, everyone, including himself, was in floods of tears. Suddenly, there came three sharp tugs on the rope. Pull! shouted the old green grasshopper. Everyone get behind me and pull! There was about a mile of string to be hauled in, but they all worked like mad, and in the end, over the side of the peach, there appeared a dripping wet James with a dripping wet centipede clinging to him tightly with, the, with all of his 42 legs. He saved me, gasped the centipede. He swam around in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean until he found me. My dear boy, the old green grasshopper said, patting James on the back. I do congratulate you. My boots, cried the centipede. Just look at my precious boots. They are ruined by the water. Be quiet, the earthworm said. You are lucky to be alive. Are we still going up and up? asked James. We certainly are, answered the old green grasshopper. It's beginning to get dark. I know, it'll soon be light. Why don't we all go down below and keep warm until the morning? Miss Spider suggested. No, the old green grasshopper said. I think that would be very unwise. It would be safe if we all stay up here through the night and keep watch. Then, if anything happens, we shall be ready for it. That's in that chapter. See you soon.